Number one, global warming is not a myth. Here in the Arctic, we're experiencing warming up to three and a half times greater than the rest of the globe. Number two, our glaciers are melting. In Norway, some of our glaciers have retreated by as much as 2.5 kilometers since the beginning of the last century. And melting glaciers provide water for people, they provide water for crops, and even electricity. But if our glaciers were to disappear completely, that could mean less drinking water, less water for farming, and less power. I'm currently standing here on the Greenland ice sheet, but the ice beneath my feet is around 1.2 kilometers thick. But despite this vast size, the ice sheet is becoming increasingly susceptible to climate change. This meltwater accumulates in rivers such as this one flowing behind me. Slowly but surely, this meltwater eventually will contribute to the ongoing global sea level rise. Our oceans have already warmed by one degree since the 1900s. Here in Tromsø, we are at the gateway to the Arctic Ocean. Our oceans act as a giant buffer to global warming by absorbing excess heat and carbon dioxide. Our oceans are filled with these tiny little creatures called plankton. And plankton are food for fish and all the bigger animals that live in the ocean. But when the oceans warm, it's harder for the plankton to survive. And less plankton means less fish. And less fish ultimately means less food on our plates. Sami reindeer herders here in Scandinavia are dealing with increasingly unstable winters. As temperatures jump above and below zero, it can lead to ice crusts forming on the ground, which the reindeer can't dig through to get to their favorite food. When rivers and lakes don't freeze as they used to, it also means the reindeer can't travel between their different feeding grounds. Global warming is caused by the greenhouse effect. Without the greenhouse effect, our climate would be a lot colder. But because of factories and cars and planes and other human activities, we are pumping greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. This blanket becomes too thick. But it's not too late. There is still time for us to do something about global warming. We should be tackling it at all levels, from government and industry to us on our everyday lives. We can drive less, take the bus, buy less, consume less, 